This class is going to be a starting point. This is by no means the end of your education into communication. And this is a craft that you guys are going to work on all throughout your career. Um, I always learn stuff. Always be a learner in this field. So here's the scenario. Um, you're going to be Officer Mike. And so uh, you've been called to an unwanted party. Somebody just walked into, let's say, a business and is refusing to leave. And the management called you. Do you have any say so of what happens here? Uh, if it's un. Or so if how it's are illegal, you going to mediate? If it's illegal, right? If he owes you money and he's not so, giving it to so you. So it's illegal for the business to owe me money. Is that what you're saying? Communication is integrated into everything that we do um, every single day. It will either make your job very easy or it will make your job very hard. How about we go talk about this out here? But there are um, traits and things that we teach them that everybody can use uh, to make basically their lives and their career much better. Are you here for a, for a bagel? The more you do it, the more you incorporate the skills, the better you're gonna get on it. And you're just gonna become an overall better, more well-rounded officer. Um, I try to focus on building rapport. And if I can build rapport, calm things down, it's a lot easier for the whole group. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little scenario, a little exercise to kind of emphasize this, kind of work on communication. Okay, so this is called back-to-back -back drawing. So it works really well because you guys are already in pairs. It has spots all over the ball. The idea is, is that one person communicates and the other person draws what that little piece of clip art is. It's the first round. The uh, drawer is not allowed to ask any question. The communicator can say anything they want to. Really no neckline of the bear. The idea is, is that when you just bark orders at somebody, um, when we as people don't allow people to kind of respond to what we are saying, um, then it's very difficult to communicate. A piece of bread on the right is like a, a loaf of sourdough. The basket's just like sitting there. But is it like braided or something like that? Yeah, at the top of it, there's like a little slime. In round two, what we do is we allow the open dialogue back and forth. A circular bread basket. We allow the drawer to ask questions and the communicator again to say anything they want. Okay, all right, turn around, see what you get. It's pretty damn good. What's different between the two scenarios? Which was harder, which was easier, which drawing looks better? And so we just talk about kind of those barriers to communication and allowing that dialogue and that space to kind of talk and communicate.